Hi there, this is Patrick Scoggin with Kids First Education and this is another Math in a Minute video. This video is going to focus on 3OA4, finding unknown numbers in multiplication and division. 3OA4 is a third grade standard that asks students to determine the unknown whole number in a multiplication or division equation when there are three whole numbers present and we're only dealing with factors 0 to 10. So let's start out talking about fact families. Let's remind ourselves what fact families are. And fact families have are three numbers and they create two related multiplication or division facts. And just a quick example, we can look at this. Sometimes this is called the fact family house. And we can start out with 3 times 5. And we know that 3 times 5 is 15. And no matter which way we go in that triangle, we will only use those three numbers. So we could say from left to right, 3 times 5 equals 15, or we could go from right to left, 5 times 3 equals 15. Or we could start at the top and say 15 divided by 5 equals 3, or 15 divided by 3 equals 5. So when we know that single multiplication fact, we can have a lot of information at our fingertips. So let's look at a few examples and let's prove a few things with this. So let's start out with an array and we can see in this array that we have five columns. Remember from previous Math in Minute videos, columns go up and down and we have three rows. And we know already that we can find how many squares are in this array by multiplying the number of columns and the number of rows. So we could say three times five equals what? correct we know that that equals 15 so let's change it up just a little bit we had three rows and five columns but let's change that a little bit to have three columns and five rows so we didn't change the number of our squares but we rearranged them a little bit and so we also know that five rows times three columns equals what correct it's 15 it doesn't matter which comes first, the 3 or the 5, but when we use those same two factors, we get the same product, 15. What about if we have 15 objects, can we divide them into rows and columns? So notice that the squares now are just random. We don't have them arranged in an array, but if we did arrange them in an array so that we have f 3 rows and 5 columns, we would have the same thing we did in our previous example, but we would have 15 the total number divided by three rows is five columns. What about if we changed it to look like this? Five rows and three columns. We could have a division sentence that says 15, the total, divided by five equals three. So 15 objects in five rows, that would be three columns. So let's practice a little bit. 3 times what number equals 12? Now we remember this from our multiplication facts, and we know that 3 times what number equals 12? Correct, 4. So let's change that around just a little bit. 4 times what number equals 12? Correct, 3. Let's change it around one more time. What if we say 12 divided by what number equals 3? We use our fact families and we know that 12 divided by 4 equals 3 and finally 12 divided by 3 equals what? 4. So we can, when we know one multiplication fact, we have access to several different multiplication and division sentences through that fact. So remember our multiplication facts when we want to help with division. Think about 20 divided by what number equals 5. So we can also think of it 5 times what number equals 20. So 20 divided by 4 equals 5. What about 18 divided by what equals 3? Remember your multiplication fact? 3 times what equals 18? Correct, 3 times 6. 72 divided by what number equals 9? 
Let's remember our multiplication fact. 9 times what equals 72? 9 times 8 equals 72. So let's review what we know now. A fact family has three numbers that are related by multiplication and division. If we know two numbers, then we can find the third number, which is called an unknown. And if we know two numbers in that fact family, we can find the third number. And fact can't, families can be proven with arrays. This has been another Math in a Minute or Two video. Thank you for listening, and if you want to see other Math in a Minute videos, please visit our website at www.kidsfirst.llc.